Okay, uh, in this segment, we'll use our knowledge of the sector hits, quadrant hits, sector area, and quadrant area to obtain an approximation for pot. Okay, so I've asked you to take note of your sector hits. Um, the answer will vary. Um, I had 71 hits in the sector and quadrant hits that was out of a hundred hits um, the sector area that we have is pi over 4 and the quadrant area is 1 um, now consider how these ratios are proportional the proportion of sector excuse me the probability of sector hits over the probability of quadrant hits since they're random is equal approximately equal to the area of the sector over the area of the quadrant. Um, here are my results that I've obtained using Excel and I used 300 darts and I obtained 232 quadrant hits. So I'm going to use this in our further uh, computations. Okay, we have um, the probability of sector hits over the probability of quadrant hits is equal to the area of the sector over the area of the quadrant, which equals pi over 4 over 1, which is equal to pi over 4. In other words, the probability of the sector hits equals the probability of the quadrant hits, which equals pi over 4. Now, solving for pi, we have pi equals 4 times probability of sector hits over the probability of quadrant hits. Um, that will give you a unique result and your answer will vary. I want you to basically answer that um, result. What is pi uh, given your sector hits and your quadrant hits? And I want you of course to explain the answer. Uh, my results using Excel and having performed these computations, I got pi equals 3.0933. Um, basically, uh, by using in using Excel, I used more darts, and I used Excel to improve my accuracy. And we'll we'll talk about the rationale for that in the extra credit section.